What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Seven Figure Flipping Podcast. I cannot believe this. Wholesaling is completely dead. It has fallen off of a map in the state of South Carolina. HB 4754 is a law that the state put in place that bans wholesaling. It defines wholesaling as having a contractual interest in, a, in purchasing residential real estate from a property owner, then marketing the property for sale to a different buy, buyer prior to taking legal ownership of the property. They said you cannot do it anymore. That has been a safe haven to stay away from the NAR, the National Association of Realtors, for our wholesalers forever. So what do I mean by that? Well, Agents and people, brokers would always say that, hey, you can't sell real estate from, uh, you, you know, like unless you're an agent and on the MLS and you have to follow our rules. And then the argument from wholesalers was always that I'm not selling real estate. I'm actually just selling the equitable interest in my contract. And that has gone, that has been the game for wholesaling for many, many years. Now, it's not every state. There's like, a handful of states like South Carolina, Oklahoma has done this, and a few others. It could go nationwide. I'm not sure that it will, um, but it's possible. So what are people doing today? I called a friend. You've seen him on the podcast before, Vaughn Bethel. He's down in South Carolina. He's a very active investor. He's a part of our seven-figure flipping community. I called him just a couple of days ago, and they said, Vaughn, is wholesaling actually dead? Is there ways that people are getting around this? And I learned two things. Number one, people are still doing wholesaling in a traditional way, just like you remember. They're just changing their language. They're not saying, uh, buy this contract or invest in this, this deal, this the equitable interest in this contract. You want to take it over. What they're now saying to their buyers in some cases is, hey, I have an opportunity. This is what it looks like. Are you, if you're interested in partnering on this deal, please reach out to me. So they're just changing the language to protect themselves legally. I have no idea if that's going to continue to work or if that is working right now, but that's what they're doing. And then here's what's so crazy. I cannot believe this. There is a guy out there who is on the South Carolina Real Estate Commission who led the charge to eradicate wholesaling. The wild part about this is that same guy is selling a course called the installment method. And in the installment method, now, by the way, installment sales have been around for eternity. They just are using it in a different utility. So in the installment method, you actually sign a contract with the seller. You give them a little bit of money and you get your name on the deed. So now you have decision-making authority for this property. And now you can bring in another investor to pay a higher price to make a little bit of money. Absolutely wild. I cannot believe this guy is on the commission. And I can't believe that he led the charge in getting rid of this. And now he's selling a course on exactly how to do this process. The ethics, to me, that's a big red flag from an ethics perspective. But hey, I don't have all the information. So I'm not going to pass judgment right now. I think the people in South Carolina actually have one of the biggest opportunities in real estate right now. So if I think about this, the wholesalers are in these states and they're looking for distressed property. They're cold calling these people. They're sending direct mail to people who are potentially, you know, in foreclosure, getting divorced, their house is vacant, they're tired landlords. They're targeting all these kind of people who would want to sell their house fast. And now in South Carolina, since they can't actually do anything with the contract, I believe that you're going to have way fewer people actually marketing to these folks anymore. So if you have money or you've learned how to raise private capital or you have a great hard money lender and you can go in and actually purchase these houses at a discount, put them on the MLS, it's going to be a blue ocean in South Carolina for marketing. Now, if I go into another state like Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, very hot market, a bajillion wholesalers over there, 
or direct to seller marketers and I start to market, my cost to get a deal is extremely high because a lot of people, you're competing with a lot of people. Now, think about that for South Carolina. The wholesalers are giving up or they're finding new methods and a lot of people are going to stop marketing. So that means if you have the means, you can then go in, market for the deal, not have a whole bunch of competition, have a better quality conversation, be a better option to actually serve that seller, especially if you have the capital to buy it, which by the way, if you're a wholesaler, you should be going in with every intent to close on a property or know for sure you can get that property closed with a partner investor, uh, have a really strong buyer's list. If you're just locking up properties and you have no idea or you, if you can sell it or you haven't underwrote it well, you, you're walking the unethical line. So I highly recommend you don't do that. If you're in South Carolina, now you have to get capital Start learning how to raise private money. Make sure you have good hard money lenders lined up and you can go in and still provide the fast closing that a lot of sellers still need. Blue Ocean Opportunity in South Carolina right now. They're great markets. They have population increases there. People during COVID moved from the Northeast, the expensive cities that got locked down really hard to Florida. They realized it was too hot in Florida and they all moved back up to South Carolina and North Carolina. So the population growth is there is great. The macroeconomics look good. The job opportunities, the income is increasing. It's a great market. You can go there and actually buy properties. Blue Ocean Opportunity. Definitely recommend you check that out. We have a multitude of investors in our community, seven-figure runway, seven-figure flipping, or excuse me, seven-figure altitude, our higher-level uh, mastermind group. So uh, if you want more detailed, in-depth strategies on how we're marketing, how we're getting private capital, how we are um, negotiating these deals, then check it out. There's always a link in the bio. Uh, fill out an application, talk to somebody on our team. I think you might be a good fit. If you, if you think you might be a good fit for a community, it's definitely worth the conversation. So go check it out now. Go click that link and I'll see you on the next episode.